Hi everybody, this is David Kino with Value Charts, and this is the free video for Wednesday, September 7th, 2016. So I am looking at Apple here. Uh, it is about 105. So just before uh, the, the the major part of the Apple news event that they're having in California here. Um, the one thing I want to point out is Apple on the daily chart. We are sitting right on the eight day EMA. And um, it does look like a potential uh, bearish divergence. If you look at momentum, um, that if Apple does not hold, it's got a lower low on the daily chart. We're looking like we're going to fall back to the 105 and a half area, or maybe even the 50 day EMA around 104 and a half. Uh, that's about a, um, a two to three point drop from here. Um, again, there's not much anticipation on this Apple iPhone 7 um, in terms of, you know, potential improvements, uh, more of a uh, kind of consolidation um, in terms of, uh, you know, the processor and some of the features. So Apple kind of has some negativism built in to this event. That's why Apple is down roughly uh, two tenths of a percent. At one time today, we were down about three tenths, four tenths of a percent. So Apple since rebounded. Um, the thing about it is we may go a little bit higher if uh, Apple puts on a good show, but I really don't think it'll be enough to overcome the potential bearish divergence on the daily chart. So even if we go up if, uh, it'd probably just be short-lived a day or so before we really start to roll over. Um, you know, but Apple could surprise us. But again, if we drop, look for moves down to 105 and a half, 104 and a half, and below that, down to 103. Okay? Good luck trading.